The following yoga practice has been created to work out your whole body. If you do this regularly, you'll feel fitter, energized, and more flexible. When you've finished, please remember to rest for a few minutes on your mat to enjoy the full benefits of your yoga practice. Now, I've always enjoyed being active. When I exercise, I see it as time that I put aside just for me. In this section, we will be doing three rounds of a flowing yoga sequence that is designed to work with key areas of the body for flexibility and strength. So come back to the front of your mat, take a couple of breaths, inhaling, exhalation, another breath, inhaling, and then let the head come forward. So we continue rolling down through the spine, and then we're sequencing through each part, vertebrae by vertebrae, and we're bending the knees again, and coming down. What we're going to do is push down through the feet, and we're going to straighten the legs, turn it into a forward bend. That's great. Let the shoulders relax. Inhaling, exhaling. Good. Bend both knees, bring the hands to either side of the feet, and then gently step the right foot back along the mat, placing the back knee onto the mat. From here, we're going to take the pelvis back and then take the pelvis forward, inhaling and exhaling. So we're trying to release the pelvis, relax the whole sleeve of the thighs, combine the movement with the breath. You'll find a natural rhythm there. And then when you're ready, we're going to straighten the front leg, taking the pelvis back towards the wall behind. So we're lunging backwards. Now with the front leg, it doesn't have to be straight, it can be bent, as long as you've got a slight intensity in the back of the knee, back of the hamstring, inhaling, exhaling, now. Keep length in the spine, so lift the chest, tuck the chin in and let the back of the neck extend. After you've taken a couple of breaths, you can start to come forward. Now to come forward, we're going to bring the abdomen down first, then the chest, and then finally the head. Inhalation. So stay with the breath. You might find some intensity in the back of the leg, that's fine. If you want to just slightly bend the knee, then that's also fine as well. It doesn't have to be straight. As long as you're working with a sense of intensity there, that's what we want to try and achieve in the back of the leg at this point. Good. Okay, now from here, we're going to lunge forward. Let the chest and shoulders open, so bring in the pelvis forward. Again, breath, inhalation, exhalation, good. Tuck the back foot under, and we're gonna lift the hips up until we're in a downward facing dog. So we've gone through this before. Feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart. Again, you can bend the knees. Quite happy for you to bend the knees, particularly in the first round. Give some space to the area of the lower back. Bring your awareness back to the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Now, from here, we're going to gently come down on to our knees and then come and lay onto our fronts. Good. Okay. Extend the arms out in front of you. Keep the pelvis where it is. Now, we're going to walk the arms over to the right-hand side about 45 degrees. So the spine's coming with you, the pelvis stays as it is. We're opening out through the left side of the spine, left side of the waist, left rib cage. You can very gently rest your head onto the floor and breathe, inhale, expanding into the left side of the body and let the exhalation go all the way down. Have a breath, inhaling, and exhaling. Coming back to center, and then coming onto the other side, again about 45 degrees. This time, the right side of the waist, right side of the rib cage, lengthen the right side of the spine, and slowly come back to center. Bring the elbows back so they're underneath the shoulders. So elbows onto the floor, forearms parallel, the toes underneath the back of the heels, and then very gently lift the pelvis. Good. Inhaling, exhaling. 
Try and stay with the breath. This is quite a dynamic position. It's going to be working the core. So if you can, just focus on the breath. Let the exhalation go down. One more breath. Good. And gently come back down. Come and rest. Make a pillow with the hands. Rest the head on the hands. And again, return your awareness back to the breath. Now, from here, we're going to bring the hands back either side of the chest. We're going to push up. We're going to push up onto all fours. Try and lift the hips at the same time as, as you lift the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath the heels and then coming back up into a downward facing dog. Again, the knees can be bent if you want to have the knees bent. Now we're going to come back through this sequence. We're going to come back with the right foot. So bending the knees and stepping the right foot between the hands. If the foot doesn't come forward, all you have to do is lift the foot and bring it alongside. But it's quite important for when we lunge, we want the knee above the heel or the arch of the foot. So when we're taking the pelvis backwards and forwards, you don't want to be placing the knee too far forward. Make sure that the foot is directly underneath. Great. A couple of more movements backwards and forwards. Inhaling, exhaling. And then eventually taking the pelvis back. Again, create length in the spine. You might want to lift the chest. And then bring the abdomen down, then the chest down, and then finally the head. Okay, bring the pelvis forward. Let the chest and shoulders open. As you lunge forward, just let the head look towards the horizon. You don't need to lift the head any higher. Keep the chin tucked in slightly, the back of the neck lengthening. Okay, now tuck the back foot under. We're going to lift the hips, and there's a little flick with the back foot as you come forward to the front of the mat. Adjust the feet so the feet are hip distance apart to begin with. Then with the knees bent, just take the feet a little wider than hip distance. That's it. Now we're, we're going to straighten the right leg keeping the left leg bent, then transferring the weight of the pelvis over across to the right side of the mat. Try and keep the head down through the center line. I'm going to use a block to place my hands on here. You can use a hardback book. Just slightly placing the hands can help. Take the weight across a little further. Inhalation. Exhalation. Good. Let the weight go down through the straight leg from the back of the hips, dropping down into that foot. And then bending the right, straightening the left, transferring the weight across, and again, exactly the same on the other side. There's a nice movement there, going from one side across to the other, to try and sweep the pelvis as it comes over. Again, try and keep the head down through the center line. Weight goes down through the straight leg, Then, bending both knees, bringing the pelvis back above the feet, the feet come underneath the pelvis, and we're going to roll back up through the spine, so pushing down through the feet, coming up. Now, as we come up this time, we're going to let the arms come above the head, so sequencing the arms above the head, 